Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is Make One Honey. This episode, I've been thinking about it in my head for, for months. I've had these two bottles, amazing bottles in front of me. I've been itching to open it, but I haven't been able to because I didn't get to film this episode yet. So today we'll open these two bottles, these two rye whiskey bottles. They're both very, very highly sought after, very desirable and very rare. So to the left of me, I have the Old Forester single barrel rye whiskey. I got this one for $59.99, $60 at Costco with the help of a friend actually, which is an amazing, amazing deal. You never even find, I don't, first of all, you don't find these at any place. I've never seen it other than this bottle. And to find it for $60, which is their retail price, it's amazing. And to the right of me, I have the Old Carter barrel strength rye whiskey, uncut, unfiltered. Another amazing whiskey, everyone's sort of looking for this bottle. There's a huge following for these old Carter bottles. The price, however, is $250 to $300. So it's pretty steep in its price. I got it for, I think, $260, uh, which is pretty steep still. So, but, but anyways, it's a great whiskey, very sought after, very limited quantity. So I'll open these two bottles and uh, taste them and smell them and all that good stuff and, and share with you what my thoughts are on these two whiskeys. And after that, answer the age old question, especially when it comes to whiskey. Does the price of whiskey determine how good a whiskey is? Or in our case, is this $300 Old Carter rye whiskey that much better than this Old Forester single barrel rye whiskey? We'll find out towards the end. So I'm excited, I'm excited. Again, I've been thinking about it doing for a while, so let's get right to it. Let's try the, let's try the Old Carter first. This one has a lower proof than this one, so we'll start out with the lower proof. <laughs> Couple things about Old Carter. They actually make three kinds of whiskey. They got the, the rye whiskey here. They have the bourbon and they have the American whiskey as well. They haven't been around as long as some of the other uh, distilleries. Like this one, I know Old Forester, they've been around for like, I don't know, a like hundred years or whatever. But for Old Carter, I think they just started not maybe 10, 15 years ago uh, by two folks named Mark and Sherry Carter. Uh, I think these guys own actually uh, wineries or what they own a wine business and they sort of jumped into whiskey business. And since then it's been taken off and people think these are very fine quality, very high quality whiskey. So uh, they have, again, they got bourbon, American whiskey and rye. All right, let's go for the nose first. Very citrusy, like lemony. Uh, not like sweet orange, but citrusy, like um, like fresh lemons. Again, it's ooh, it's tingling the the cilias inside my my nose, but it's um, yeah, it's very woody, like pine, like wood chippy, foresty, if I can even say that. Interesting nose on the Carter. I never had it before. So, anyways, cheers, everybody. definitely different this one has that that oaky chippy the woody chippy uh, notes are are transferred for sure some citrus coming through but the oak baseline is very it's not overpowering but it's very deep uh, it's very prominent very bold let's go for another swig like a charred oak barrels and charred chip uh, wood chips Not really tasting much of the rye, like standard rye characteristics, right? Not, not much of like the minty, like herbal flavor, not much of that. I, I, I taste the vanilla, I taste the, the standard bourbon notes, although it's not a, technically a bourbon. I taste the vanilla, some caramel, like dark, deep, um, like a charred caramel, not like light, like honeyish uh, caramel, but it's good. All the flavors are very deep. It's not too hot on the palate either, for being 116.6 proof. It's 58.3 alcohol, so it's not too hot. I mean, it's up there, it's barrel proof, but it's not like 120 or 130. So let's try one more time. A wood chippy, like almost dusty, I like leathery. Everything is very um, charred and deep. Maybe some brown sugar towards the end, I, I taste it. 
like a burnt brown sugar. Like you burn the marshmallow uh, on the fireplace over hot, you know, those wood chips beginning burn, burnt marshmallow. That's sort of how I, how I envision it. The finish is pretty good too. I taste it, it's still very coaty. Um, it's, it's going down my, my back of my throat. It's not burning me, but it's a definitely a warm hug. Very pleasant warm hug. And it's very ple pleasurable. Uh, it's definitely very uh, pleasant. Yeah, definitely a solid whiskey. For $300 though, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I would buy another bottle for $300 or $250 or whatnot. It's definitely good. It's definitely good, but anyways, let's move on to the super popular Old Forester Barrel Strength Rye. All right, here we go. God, I've been holding on to this bottle and I want to open it and I want to taste it, but I held off. I held off. So here we go. So this one is the Old Forester Single Barrel Rye Barrel Strength Whiskey. So it's a mouthful. It comes in at 131.2 proof, 65.6% alcohol, and uh, comes from Warehouse K, Floor 7, blah, 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 blah. And this one's a green label. So they've been coming out with barrel strength renditions of their whiskey. There's a blue bottle. Oh, there's a blue bottle right here, actually. There's a blue bottle that's more prominent. This is their bourbon, just regular bourbon rendition of, of their barrel strength. And they have the green bottle, which is the rye. But rye is a lot more rare than the blue barrel strength. In general, I think the ryes are, are less produced than bourbons. And secondly, there's lots and lots of store pick versions of, of the blue regular bourbon barrel strength ones. I've seen, you know, a lot of the liquor stores, they all do their own rendition or they all pick their own barrels and do their store picks of the, the barrel strength Old Forester. But for this green rye whiskey, they're not allowing that. So there's no store pick version of the rye barrel strength whiskey. So you never see them. I've never seen this one at a bar. I've never seen it at a, at a restaurant. I've seen maybe at a liquor store or something like that, but it's like at $300, $350. Um, so it's ridiculously marked up and very, very rare. So let's try it out. Let's go for the nose first. Ooh. It's definitely hotter than this one. Definitely hotter. I could smell like the sweetness coming through along with a little bit of mintiness. This one was a lot of oak and citrus. This one is sweet and slight like a like standard rye scent coming through like a little bit of minty, a little bit leafy. Interesting, but but the ethanol content uh, when it hits the nose, it's definitely hotter than this one, for sure, noticeably. And the color I wanted to mention is noticeably dark on the Old Forester. I don't know if you can see it from there, but Old Forester is definitely darker by a couple shades. I don't know what the age on these two bottles are. I, from what I hear, this one's probably a six or seven, probably on the same. This one is MGP or Ross and Squid, they call it now. Uh, but there's no age statement on these two, either of them. But I would assume they're about the same. But this one is noticeably darker and thicker. All right, guys. Well, let's go for a swig. Been waiting for a while for this, this moment. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I recognize this taste. I recognize it all right. Right off the bat, the alcohol definitely has a stronger kick on this one. No doubt about it. And uh, rightfully so. This one is 131 proof and this is 116 proof. So, so it's definitely much hotter. Now the difference is the other taste. Um, right away I taste the banana. I taste the apple, like a cooked apple. Like heavy honey, like very heavy, like thick honey. Um, this is like drizzling down the cup and slight minty towards the end. Slight minty taste towards the end. It's absolutely delicious. Let's go for another swig. Mmm. 
Oh, there's that, there's that pepperminty dry coming in right now. But the banana, like a ripe banana, is right here um, from the from the tip of the tongue all the way down. It just uh, doesn't let you forget about it. Apple is still there. The caramels and the vanillas. Oh, it's very thick, very thick, and it's actually very, very good. The mint is very subtle. It's mint and subtle. You gotta look for it. You gotta look for it. Uh, but it's there, definitely minty, like a pepperminty note is definitely there. I'm trying to sort of compare it with, uh, there's so many flavors going on. I'm trying to compare it with the, my favorite Old Forester 1920 or the 1910. The similar profile is there, like the apples, the cooked apple, the spices, definitely a little bit of uh, cinnamon in there. It's a flavor profile is very similar, but definitely bolder punch. Like it's like a, maybe the Old Forester 1920 is like a, like a middleweight and this will be like the heavy, heavy weight. And it's absolutely delicious, delicious. It is hot, but after you get past the heat, all that burst of flavor comes through. The fruit, the sweet, slight oakiness, the cinnamon, the cinnamon is there. The bright brightiness almost takes like a little bit of like a, like a mushed up churro. Yeah, doesn't sound that great, but I love churros. It has a little bit of churro notes in there. And the finish is great. It's still tingling me as it's uh, making its way down. Oh, it's delicious. It's hot though, but it's like, uh, if you like spicy food, you know, it's sometimes some, some of the foods are super spicy, but you keep eating them because you just love them. Something like that, something along those lines. I know it's very hot. I know it's very alcohol, high in alcohol content, but it's just the taste within are so good and so familiar to me that I keep going back. So I keep wanting to go back. There we go. There you have it guys, oh my goodness. Both amazing whiskeys, both tasty whiskeys. Between these two, uh, between this $300 Old Carter whiskey and a $60 Old Forester rye whiskey, I'm gonna have to go with this one, for sure. It's just, it's just a better whiskey, just a better whiskey. And that sort of answers my question. Um, you know, does the price of whiskey determine how good a whiskey is? Not at all. You know, there are whiskeys that are highly priced that are proven to be very good, very high quality. And this is one of the quality, high quality uh, whiskeys. But that does not automatically mean that it's a better whiskey than some of the lower priced whiskey. Like this one, only $60. Yeah, you can't really find it anywhere. It's hard to find. But if you're just comparing MSRP, retail price from this one to this one, it's it's a no-brainer that the Old Forester Single Barrel Rye Whiskey is a better whiskey out of those two, in my humble opinion. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thanks everybody, appreciate your time. If you got a chance, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. Let me know what you think of the uh, Old Forester a Single Barrel Rye Whiskey if you had it. Or let me know if you think Old Carta is the better whiskey out of these two. Let me know at the bottom. Thanks again everybody, have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.